Joining me for our final Senate sit-down of the semester is Student Senate Communications Director Isaac Benny. Isaac, thank you for joining us today. Hey, it's good to be here. You know, it's been a hectic semester most recently with the impeachment process. How, uh, how has that affected the leaders within Senate? Have they, uh, has, how has that affected them? You know, right now, uh, Student Senate's motivated. Um, we currently have, during our current legislative cycle, we have 23 bills going through. We have a lot of amendments. Um, Senators are motivated, the, exec staff, the executive staff is motivated. We're motivated to get the job um, that we were elected to do. Um, earlier this month, earlier last month, I guess, we um, unveiled our 11-point proposal um, to tackle diversity and create a more inclusive environment at KU. We've been working hard at that. Um, several of the um, proposals that we had actually went through committees this last week, so really excited to see those get implemented in the coming weeks. Okay, and then was and one of the other things that was concerning amongst uh, student senate was the recording of the official student senate meetings. How have you guys handled that situation with people wanting to see that recorded or not? Absolutely. So last week during committees, a couple senators introduced a piece of legislation. Basically, what that will do is any um, official meeting conducted by student senate um, going forward will be recorded and minutes will be taken. Those will be available upon request to any person at the university if they would like to look at it. Okay, and then another uh, prob or not problem, another concern was the voting rights for Director of Diversity yeah. Inclusion. Because you know, people, that's the main topic on campus right now is <clears throat> diversity and inclusion for all students. Do you think, or, or what is the student senate's thoughts on voting rights for the Director of Diversity Absolutely. Inclusion? Absolutely, so, um, as you said, most members of executive staff actually don't have voting rights on Studex, um, especially considering a lot of the circumstances that have been going on. We believe having someone voting on Studex who can represent the needs of multicultural students, underrepresented groups on campus is really important. So uh, when uh, student body president Jesse Pringle, Zach George, and Adam Moon, when they released their action plan earlier this month, um, one of the um, suggestions was making that position voting rights. Very happy to report last night, at, Wednesday night at committees, it did pass through, so now it'll be voted on at full Senate. If it passes there beginning next semester, uh, that position will have voting rights. And was there anything uh, extending uh, university jurisdiction off campus for student safety? So if someone was to get in an incident off campus, would, would there any be any jurisdiction? Absolutely. So right now, that's actually something that uh, student rights, um, they're currently, actually last night, yesterday afternoon, they had a meeting um, to discuss the student code. And right now, they're currently working, um, seeing what angles the university can take in terms of adjusting the student code for off-campus jurisdiction. Okay. Well, Isaac, thank you for being here with us today. Have hey, a great break. It was good.